Today we are going to build a Lego set. So what we're going to do, a quick little intro video, followed by a time lapse of the actual build itself, and then you know a little bit of discussion about the set and a bit of a demonstration at the same time. So let's get started, let's build. So today's Lego set is part of the Lego City Collection. It is a recycling truck, uh, number 60386. We've got how many pieces? 261 pieces. Three minifigures included, including what looks like a cat. I don't know if you can see that from that far, but yeah. So here's the back of the box. All right, let's get started. It's these uh, push-in tabs, not the cut the tape, it seems. Gotta be for the recycling bins. Three bags. One bag. Two instruction books by the looks of it. Number two right here. Okay. Instruction book with number one. Three instruction books. Ah. So you start by building the actual recycling bins first. And the truck and the bed. And finally, the actual recycling part, and the collection part of it. So, put that over here for now. It's my uh, first time working with my fancy new custom built uh, Lego building station, so to speak. <clears throat> put that over there. Show that off in another video. Bag number two, bag number three. All right. So it looks like uh, one bag per booklet, and there's also some stickers as well. All right. That up. I like to save these bags. Ironically, during recycling truck, I do recycle them. Instructions, yeah, I'm gonna use it. Boom. I think that's cool about the actual instructions is sometimes they'll tell you a little story about who actually worked on this set, a story behind it. Not all of them though, this one doesn't have one, it seems. So uh, let's get started. Actually a neat little set. You can come back here. Let's see, let's just try in the back here. So this is the actual recycling truck itself. I screwed up and I had this laying down when I went to attach it, and then I didn't realize you had to pull it up. It happens. So the back <clears throat> compartment actually comes up. You can pop it up there. I'm assuming it's just when they're going to dump their load. And then there's a little wheel here. You can put the trash bin on and then it pops it back in there with whatever garbage is inside. So it's actually pretty cool. 
Francis said, the only thing that bothers me with Lego sets nowadays from when I was a kid is that back here, like on the doors, they don't actually have doors that open and close on a lot of the cars and vehicles now, which is kind of frustrating because I like to do stop motion stuff. So to get a character, like a minifigure, going into the cab of this recycling truck, it's going to be a little tricky. So if I was doing that, I'd have to either rebuild it in a different fashion or kind of cheat it shot-wise and make it happen. Every time I look at this, now that I've built it, it reminds me of the 1990s Ninja Turtles movie with Casey Jones, but that's a compactor. And uh, I just remember the shredder falling in and Casey Jones being like, oops. And anyone who's born in the 70s or 80s will know exactly what I'm talking about. But that's what this part, for some reason, reminds me of. But yeah, you got three little minifigures here. And uh, this is the craziest hair I've ever seen on a Lego like minifigure. They're really kind of changing it up nowadays from when I was a kid. They used to just be very, very plain. Technology obviously is advanced. I don't know what sort of ticket that she has on her here and this character that she's either throwing out or a ticket for, I don't know, for garbage. But there's even little bits that came to place inside the respective trash cans. So you're just regular trash. And then you've got your paper recycling and then your green bins, your organics. So for people who are watching this that don't do any sort of recycling or if they don't have a green bin in wherever you live, that's just, you know, some people put that in their compost. But yeah, this is the recycling truck and there's going to be some more videos coming up of different Lego sets. I have a few uh, that I still have to actually put together, including one for my mother, which is an Elvis artwork that I've already done one for her, but she got a second one and apparently I have to build it. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like the video if you did and we'll see you next time. Thanks.